I have a new item to show you today. This is a metal vegetable spiralizer. So let's take a look at the box. This is the company that makes this spiralizer. And why I'm excited about this one is this one actually has six different blades. The majority of the other ones that I've tried have three or four blades. Also, this one's metal. Uh, and um, I think the metal is much nicer than the plastic ones. Uh, the other thing that really interests me a lot is this comes with two different of the flat blades. Most of them only have one size for the flat. This one has a thick and a fine cut. So I think that was a, a big factor too on why I picked this. Um, so looks great. I'm excited to try it out. Let's take a look at it. Um, and you have one blade built in that already has another one here. So that's one, two, and then this is three, four, five, and six. Now you get, uh, this is the super fine, kind of like angel hair, a little bit bigger, and then it goes from fine to bigger. This, here I'll pull this one out, and this, um, oh yes, this also comes straight out if you want to clean it. And here, I'll show you right here, here when you want to remove a blade, you just push it up and out. And this is much, much easier to clean. Just use like a little brush it's because the blades are sharp. Now this is the thicker cut straight blade and this is the finer cut. So if you want to do a thick cut, you just have it like that. If you want to do a finer cut, you do it like that and you push it down. And then if you want to do the other blades, then you'd pull this out and then stick in one of the other blades. So I'm going to start, I'll start with this one. This is the thicker cut straight blade. I usually use these for cucumbers, which I love putting in my water for cucumber water. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to put that back in here. I'm going to first use a cucumber and just push it. Just push down there so that that doesn't move around. And then, whoops, and then you turn. Really, really easy, nice, good. I mean, I'm feeling like this is like not making all that rattling and shaking around like the plastic ones do. Let's take a look and see what we got. Now, this is the thick cut. You could also use this for the potato. This would make a really nice um, item if you want to make like a little potato dish. Um, but that's the thick cut. Now we're going to do the same thing with these. We're going to use the smaller blade. We're going to take the smaller blade now and stick that in there. Oops. Going the wrong way. Okay. See? Fast and easy to change out. So now, stick that on again. Press down. And now I'm going to do the thin cut. enough of that so that you can very clearly see now. Wow, look at that. Now here's the thick cut and here's the thin cut. This is the type of cut that I want when I put these in and, and I do a nice wonderful big jug of cucumber water. Oh, it's if you've not had cucumber water, it's delicious. But look at nicely how you, um, oh and this would make a wonderful item for uh, a little uh, veggie platter, but uh, see that? Isn't that nice? Thick and thin? Beautiful. So far, I am loving this spiralizer. So now we're going to go on. I also want to try out this thin blade on an apple. I just want to see how well it does on the apple. So let's take the apple. Now we're on the thin flat blade. I just want to see if this will do an apple good. Because uh, if I want to do a nice little fruit platter, I want to make things beautiful. Let's 
it's like the end piece there. We don't need that. And la la. Woo, yeah. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, yeah. And it's fast. Just in seconds, I've got this gorgeous shaped apple. So wonderful on the apple. And I actually think this might be good for a potato, too. So let's see just quickly on the potato before we change blades. Let's see. Put the... Okay, let's try it on the potato. And beautiful for the potato as well. Um, so I, I, my, this is probably my favorite blade is the the fine, um, just the fine flat blade. But uh, I also love the spiralizer when I want to have, make my little spaghetti noodles. So beautiful, um, beautiful for the cucumber, the potato, the apple. Uh, lots of things you can use them on. Okay, now let's go to. Let's say I want to make some curly fries. So I'll start actually with the potato. I'm going to do a thicker cut on the curly fries. So let's use this big one. So we'll take out. This also has a nice sharp big prongs here so things stick really well to this. I'm loving that. Okay, I'm going to take this out. See how fast that is? We take out this blade and let's get this one ready. The biggest one. We're going to make some curly fries. Let's try that out. Okay, so curly fries. Here we go. This is the thickest, thickest cut that they have for the curly fries. All right. And looking pretty good. Uh, Beautiful for making some very fast curly fries. Looks pretty fancy to me. <laughs> very pleased. This is the thickest one that they do. Now we'll do the next size down. Actually, I'll try the potato again. This is the second biggest, so it's not the biggest. Um, try some more potato on that. Here we go. Now this one's going to be a little bit finer than the last one. So, definitely finer. This is the, f the biggest one. And these are smaller. And actually I think these are a little nicer. Uh, but that's good too. It all depends what size you're looking to do. Um, to largest size, so that's number four. I'll say the number four is the, the biggest number. No, actually it's number six blade. Um, and then that's number five blade. So we have actually two more of these that we're going to try out. Okay. I'm going to go to the this one right here. We'll do this one. <clears throat> okay. I do like how fast and easy it is to switch out blades. That makes a difference when you're busy cooking. And that's a little big, so um, it's a little crooked there. Okay, here we go. Now this is not the finest, but the second from the finest. We're doing little spirals. And this would be wonderful. Wow. Oh. This looks fantastic. This would be wonderful on a salad. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that. I'm loving that, loving it, loving it. Because most of the other spiralizers, they do the thick and super thick, but they, they, they don't have the little fine ones when you really want to do something nice and delicate. Oh yeah. Well now, I want to compare this to the, the super fine one. Now we're going to try the super fine on the carrot. And 
And you could also do this, I guess, on like fettuccine or squash if you're trying to do some uh, like angel hair type pasta. Okay, they are super fine. Okay, I'm getting it there. Pull it away. And wow. Here is the super, super fine. And wow. This is fantastic. I'm just loving it. And then this is the, the next one up. Um, none of the other spiralizers I've ever had could do this. None of them. Not even close. The most they could do is probably... Yeah, probably like that. Um, and those were usually the plastic ones. So this has sold me on this thing. Um, this and also having the two flat blades, the thick and the fine, because I really got to have that fine for doing my cucumbers. Um, wow. So overall, I have to say... I'm extremely impressed with this spiralizer. This is so much better than the plastic. It's smaller. The metal is, believe me, is so much easier to clean. You don't have a problem of all the food going in the crevices. Just make sure you have a nice little brush, cleaning brush, because these are very sharp. And all you have to do is just put it in the sink with some warm soapy water. Get your brush, uh, put it on the drying rack, and it's all ready to go. Um, I'm loving how easy it is to change the blades from one to another. It's much faster than it is with the, um, the plastic ones. Uh, I feel this is not going to be falling apart soon like some of the plastic ones. Um, and this takes up very little space. Here, I got that. It's easy to lift up. And... Um, See, it's just very, very simple. Uh, everything, um, I just think this is a much more sanitary item than the plastic ones. Because, I think, like I said, the plastic ones, uh, you never can fully really get all the food out of it. And, and that's an issue if you don't want to have to have any kind of bacteria or crap like that. Um, and um, I'm just... I'm just really impressed. I'm just loving this. So overall, uh, and this really is not much more expensive than the cheap plastic ones. Um, so I would definitely give this an A++++. Um, I have a lot of different spiralizers, so I definitely know spiralizers. And this one, this is a good one. So I'll put the link for it below the video and uh, it would make a wonderful gift to give to somebody or give to yourself. If you're into cooking, I definitely recommend this. If you like this video, feel free to hit subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye.